Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I'm back with another video. Sorry I've been missing for so long, but finally I'm recording a video that isn't a vlog. I actually have another vlog that needs to go up, but it's just not up yet. Um, but it's from the weekend that just passed and like a week ago. You, I don't know. But you guys will see. I'm so happy to be back. I miss you guys so much. And sorry that I don't upload so much. I just, I'm so busy and tired with work. Like, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I get another job? But like, why? But I'm blessed to have one. Um, so yeah, today I'm doing a Sephora haul. I haven't did a haul in a very long time. Actually, it's a Sephora and MAC haul. I have a free products from MAC. Um, but majority of the stuff come from Sephora. Um, and of course, I want to tell you guys about Ebates. No, I'm not sponsored, but that's where I shop, um, how I get money back from shopping, um, on Sephora and other websites that they have on there. Um, Ebates is really amazing. You can sign up with the link below if it's your first time signing up, and after you make your first purchase, you get to pick a $10 gift card, which is great. So I'll leave the link down below for you guys to sign up, and... Yeah, so you guys have to excuse me. My hair is a bit funky. Like, it's just my hair is just not the move right now. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's just not happening. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start with the haul. And I'm going to start at Sephora. Um, I ordered most of my stuff online, of course, because I use Ebates to get cash back. Um, so let's just jump right into this box. Also, you guys have to excuse my messy background. Sorry, guys. Um, all of that laundry over there that I need to do. Shame. But anyway, so the first thing I got was this, um, Chanel Chance perfume. And this is the pink one. It's like E-Tender or something like that. And this is the big bottle. This is a 3.4 full ounce. And I wanted to get another one because I had the small one. And my friend recently just remind me of how much I like it and I used all of the little one that I had up I think it was like a 1.2 or just one ounce so I got the full size bottle um so yeah this is the only Chanel chance that I personally think smells good um if you like fresh fruity girly flirty bubbly perfumes then I'm sure you would like this one. So the next thing I got is um, this Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. And I got the color G90, which we'll have to go back because it is definitely too light. Um, on Online, it looked like it was going to be like a little dark for me. It looks super orange or something like that, but it's really not. So this has to go back. Way too light. If you're my color, G90. Is but I wanted to try it because a lot of the like beauty gurus have been talking about the cover e cover FX foundations lately. So I wanted to be able to try. So I may um, exchange it for a different color or I may just return it in general. So the next thing I got was the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Free Pore, Min Pore Minimizing Primer. And I have used this before. This is the one in the purple packaging. Um... It works just like the, like, what is it, the Professional by Benefit or the Smoothing Primer or whatever. But I do like this over the Benefit um, Pore Professional. So yeah, I got this. And oh my gosh, guys, you guys have no idea how happy I am that this is in this box that I was able to get this. A little bit pricey for I think it was $46 or $48, but who it's cares? the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow um, highlighter, you know, that everybody went crazy over last year. Um, it came in out for like the holiday, it was in the holiday packaging and blah blah blah, and it was sold out everywhere. And I was just so mad that I could not get my hands on it. I even thought about going on eBay to pay a ridiculously price ridiculous price for it and I was just like no I came back to my senses I said if Bobby Brown is smart they will come back out with it next year which is this year and they were smart and they did so it has a different packaging it's just the normal um sorry it's probably blinding you guys it's just like the normal sleek Bobby Brown packaging I think last year it was like red and brown or something but the packaging is so cute it's like this silver packaging and it says strobing simplified then it says strobing is about highlighting the positive, which is so cute. And it's just like a slide off cover. Then it has like the normal Bobbi Brown packaging. And then you have this. 
and then this is it oh my gosh can't believe i finally have it i was like i'm not letting this get out of my hand this time so i ordered it as soon as i saw that it was there and then i ended up buying all of this stuff <laughs> so yeah so i don't know if you guys can see it but this is it and i do have it on my cheekbones today i don't know if you guys can really see it but yeah so i, I got a lot of lip products this order um i got the a, a cap can i ever talk so i got a kat von d liquid lipstick and this is from like her newer shades that she released and this color is double dare and i am wearing that today and this is like a mauve rose peach orangey color i don't know but a lot of people have been comparing it to um lolita um they say if you like lolita you'll like this but i don't know if these are really they're not really similar but it's like in the same mauve type of family and here it is swatch but it is on my lips and that's all i have on just this no lip liner no other color no nothing i also got another one of the urban decay naked skin weightless complete coverage concealers because they are my this is my favorite concealer now i'm all out of my old one which is this one as you can see like i can get no more out this color was medium dark neutral but this time i got um dark neutral and i like it so far i used it today um so yeah i love these concealers if you haven't tried the urban decay um this concealer you should definitely try it it's like one of the best concealers in my opinion like i will always repurchase this like forever and always because it's bae so another lip product that i got was the nars um lip gloss and i'm a really huge fan of nars products so i really wanted to try some of nars um more nars products um because i love their blushes and i love their packaging and everything like that um so i wanted to get a lip gloss i never really buy high-end lip glosses because i feel like i can get the same thing from like nyx um or the sephora collection of glosses for cheaper but i went ahead and got one of theirs this is their lip gloss and i got the color chelsea girls and this is one of their newer shades i wonder like it's called Chelsea Girls. What are Chelsea Girls? I don't know what those, what are they? <laughs> what are Chelsea Girls? But of course, it's just like a nudie pink beigey color. Um, just a typical lip gloss that I can wear every day. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you guys hear some bumping and stuff, I don't know. I think like there's somebody moving in or moving out in my apartment complex or in my building because i just hear all this noise but yeah so i got that chelsea girls i love the name even though i don't know what chelsea girls are i think that's why i got that one i was gonna get nars the turkish delight but then i saw chelsea girls and i like the name <laughs> even though i don't know what chelsea girls are um and then the next i got another nars product and if you guys have been a subscriber of mine for a long time and keep up with all my videos you guys know I love NARS blushes. I have a lot of them. They're my favorite high-end blush. So I decided to get another one. I got the color Outlaw. And I feel like this is very similar to the ones I already have. Like Torrid and Teos. Or Teos. But this is like a rose with um, gold shimmer in it. And here it is swatched on my finger. Let's see if I can get you guys a swatch. And here it is on my skin. I think, yeah. This is a pretty um, everyday blush for me. I love blushes like this. I guess that's why I keep gravitating towards these colors. But yeah, you can never have too many, right? <laughs> right. And then I got an East Saint Laurent lipstick. This is their Rouge um, Pure Couture lipsticks. And this is the limited edition packaging with the pink lips or red lips on it. Um, and it's also engraved, lips are engraved on actual lipstick, which is why I wanted to get this, um, the limited edition one, because the packaging is so cute with the little lip. They're always cute, the gold packaging. And I got the color 70 Le Nou or something like that. But it's just a basic nude color, and whenever I get lipsticks that cost more than like $26 or like $25, I get a color that I know I will get a lot of use out of. So I always get like nudes and pink. So here it is swatched right here. This is East Saint Laurent or YSO, whichever you prefer. Um, Rouge, Pour, Couture, 
Rouge Percature, whatever. Number 70 in Le Nude. And this is the limited edition with the engraved lips on there. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, but yeah, it has like little cute little lips engraved all around it. Around it. And then I got two of these Buxom lipsticks. Um, the new Buxom lipsticks. So the first one I got is called, what are, let me see, they're called Buxom Big and Sexy Bold Gel Lipstick. And I got the color matte voodoo spice and i really love the packaging it's sleek and just really cute and it says buxom the matte finishes are in this matte black packaging and then it is like a magnetic closure so this is voodoo spice let's see if i can get a swatch for you guys i love this these lipsticks actually like they're really cute um this is like a great fall time color it's officially fall i love fall guys um so yeah, but even though this is a fall color, I will wear this whenever I want to because that's just me. Um, so like I said, yeah, it is like a magnetic closure, which is really cool. I think a lot of lipstick brands are starting to do that do that now. And then the other one I got is a satin, and this is in the color Rebel Rose. And like I said, like the satin finished ones are in this little glossy black packaging so that's good you can tell the difference between them when you want a matte or a, a satin and again this color is rubble rose and this is like um a nude pinky mauve color it's really similar to all the stuff i have I always gravitate towards these colors but i guess because i know i'm gonna get my use out of it And here it is right here, and this is Rebel Rose. Voodoo Spice in Rebel Rose. I don't know if you guys can really see that. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like a little gnat that keeps flying around here and it's pissing me off. Like, really? I hope you guys cannot see it because I know it's annoying me. I mean, if it's annoying me, I know it's annoying Also, I'm going to show you two other lipsticks that I just got. These are Lorac Alter Ego Lipsticks. I didn't get these from Sephora, but where did I get these? Kohl's. If you guys didn't know, Kohl's sells makeup. Um, these are matte lipsticks, and I got the color Iris. And the packaging of these are really cute. If you guys can see. So I got the color Iris, and this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get a swatch. And this is it swatch right here. This video is going to be so long. And then I got the color Goddess. And I also got a lip gloss in Goddess, but I don't know where it went. And this is what this one looks like. It's like a purpley color or something around there. It really, it looks like, yeah, I don't know what kind of color. Ugh, I have swatches everywhere. And this is the Goddess color. Let me see if I can get a better swatch. Here it is. This is the goddess color right here. I'm looking over or down so you got because I have my computer hooked up. To see if you guys can see. But yes, this is the goddess color. And then moving on to MAC. I only got a few things from MAC. I know this video is probably so long. Oh my gosh. So on to MAC, mostly got skincare but a few makeup products. I got um, a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. It's just my go-to powder um, to set my face or when I just want to wear powder, this is it. So I have the color, I always use the color dark. I also got a lipstick and I got the color um, Antique Velvet, which is just a brown shade. I re I've really been wanting... Um, a brown liquid lipstick but I can't find one um so I got this and this is just a rich brown chestnut color um and it's called antique velvet and it is a matte so here it is I'm really excited to use this and maybe use it in a makeup tutorial let me guys let me guys please let me know if you guys want to see um a look with this 
And then the last two things I got are mineral from the Mineralize collection from MAC. I got the Min MAC Mineralize Charge Order Moisture Gel. And I needed a new moisturizer because I'm out of my Clinique um, moisturizer. So I, I got this because I needed a new moisturizer because I'm out of my Clinique Gel Moisturizer. Or it's getting very low. So I wanted to give this a try. I've heard good things about it. So I got the one that's best for oily skin, which is the Moisture Gel. So I'm really excited to start using this. Um, I used it today for, for the first time before I did my makeup. And it seemed like it moisturized pretty well and with my skin feeling good and just fresh, you know. Okay, so the last thing I got is the MAC Mineralized Volcanic um, Ash Exfoliator. And this is just a face exfoliator but I heard it's very gentle um, on the skin for people who have sensitive skin like me so I'm really excited to give this a try and start using it if you guys want to see a review on this just let me know and I'll try to make that happen for you guys um, so yeah that's all I got um, so yeah that's everything I got in this video or in this recent shopping trips I made um, so yeah, if you guys want to see any looks or reviews on the products that I mentioned, just please leave it down below and I will try to do that for you guys. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I miss you guys so much and thank you for sticking around with me um, through my non-uploading times. Um, hopefully I can start doing better. I really hope I can. Um, please leave down below. Um, what you guys have been purchasing and what you guys are loving at the moment and also don't forget to check out the link below to ebates and start using ebates to get your cash back and yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye